Greetings fellow traveler. Today I want to tell you why having no friends is one of the best choices I could have ever made in my life. For, for a while I lived when, in a world where you were pretty much judged or perceived by who your friends were. It's still like that today for others but not for myself. This is not to say that all friends are bad or it's negative to have friends. Nah. It's for myself I realize how many of my friendships or relationships were built on lies. No matter how big or subtle they were, they were lies. The perceptions that we want people to have of us, the perceptions that we want to have of others. When for myself, I like truthfulness. Not being truthful in all things to be almighty and all righteous. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about in a situation, minor or major, someone has the gall, they have the courage to say their truth. I can respect that. I don't have to like it, but I can respect it. It doesn't mean me and the person are gonna be friends, but I can respect the truth because they honored themselves enough and in doing so they honored me enough to say the truth. And I ran from that version of myself for a long time. When I began speaking my truth, I created a lot of drama in my life. I created many problems, but I never regretted any of the outcomes because I began to see that the truth that I was able to handle, I thought was a, uh, hmm. I thought everybody could do the same. This is not me saying I'm special at all. Not that, no. I realized for myself, though, this is something that I actually like to have in my life, which is the truth, and that builds trust within me and others and situations. For you, it may be different things. It's absolutely fine, but you know the things that you honor, you know the things that give you a peace of mind, and respect that, and others around you will do the same. I'm sharing this also to say that when you look for the truth in situations for your truth or the truth as you may define it, you trust yourself more because you trust the inclinations that you acted upon. You trust some of the information that comes from outside sources or you get a better version of discernment. Because honestly, what we call friendship, uh, I don't know what it looks like nowadays, but what we call friendship, it's not truthfully something that's needed, it's desired. It's okay to be alone. It's okay to be a loner. It's okay to maneuver through this world of creation simply how you see fit. It's fine. Trust yourself, love yourself, and move forward with that. I want to repeat this. This is not an advertisement for everybody to say, I don't want no friends. Nah, you do what works for you. And if it's working for you, keep doing it. For myself, I found more peace of mind. I found more understanding of myself. I found a better connection with God through trusting myself, speaking my truth. And in speaking my truth, it rattled many people around me. They didn't like it. And when I started to not care about that, friendships went away, relationships went away, situations, jobs went away. So what? But I'm still here and I'm feeling better and better about my life each and every moment. That said a lot to me. I spent all that time wanting to accumulate friends. And I was in the darkest places of my life when I had a lot of friends. But when I reduced that number, the more peace and clarity I got within myself. I don't know how this will help you. I have no idea. It might not. It's okay. I hope that it inspires you to look at the things, places, friendships that you hold near and dear and reassess them to see if they're really working for your greatest good or better yet why you hold on to them until next time be blessed y'all and don't forget smile it's good out here